<laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> We're having a good time. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to New Earth Rising. We are starting off with laughter and joy and fun <laughs> here in Kumara. And I am Michelle Ambergy, and we're here to talk about <laughs> everything. And as you can probably tell, it's going to be funny sometimes because these two girls here, we click on such a beautiful basis. We came together, <clears throat> excuse me, understanding. Um, each other like before we even we even talked we just so clicked there was this beautiful soul connection and we've been talking about it we finally decided we're going to do a podcast we're going to do something that we can broadcast out there because we've got tons of knowledge tons of experience tons of wisdom to share with you all and you can see i'm incredibly wise by the light <laughs> coming out of my ears <laughs> This is how you tell. Oh. <laughs> but this is such silliness and so much fun. And we hope that you can laugh along with us. So this is our introductory little thing here. So you guys can get to know us a little bit. And I first, I want to introduce <laughs> Garen Sananda Kamora, an amazing being of such love and grace and peace and harmony and wisdom it's amazing and so sharon would you would you share with us a little bit about you <laughs> yes <laughs> her wisdom will... swirls around out of her head it's a little bit different it's, kind of wisdom. it's a little bit different than out the ears yes <laughs> michelle's head is so filled with wisdom that it, you know, it just, that's how she spreads it out. Okay. Whoo, man, you cracked me up. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Well, thank you, Michelle. That is way too kind. I am um, Sharon Sanana Kumar as I gather myself here. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here with Michelle, my new partner in, in, I was going to say crime, but you know, not crime. No, it's uh, my new partner in spreading, spreading light, spreading love, spreading laughter. Number one is as far and wide as we can. <laughs> and this is how you do it. That's how you do it. Intergalactically. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I'm really excited to, to be here and um, be able to connect with Michelle on this level we've known each other I don't know probably for millennia you can you know when you have that soul connection you just recognize yeah. that there so when we did meet not that long ago gosh what six months ago or yeah something like if that, that. Mm -hmm. we had that that connection immediately and we're sharing similar types of experiences and we're finding out each time we talk how um, we um, have so many similar experiences that um, we're learning and growing together with each other. And we're hoping to share that. And our goal is, as we've talked, is to share a lot of what we are coming to learn about ourselves and what's going on on the planet. Yeah. And also uh, awakening to the galactic community that we are need to be a part of and as we move through this awakening on the planet we are um moving into that that phase or that place of being um, part of a galactic community as well so we're 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 growing up <laughs> humanity exactly. is, is growing up rapidly <laughs> yes so i for those who um who would like to know a little bit about me on a uh, another personal level, I am a psychic medium in the Portland, Oregon area, and also a hypnotherapist. And Michelle and I kind of do similar things too. We're, you know, it's like you, we're parallel people. Yeah, yeah, and channel and all that good stuff. And so um, we, um, both of us, are here on the planet again to be of service for humanity, for God's source. Oh, and and yes. to help each other along this path in the best way that we can 
Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so wonderful. You know, it's uh, many of us have ideas of, you know, there's more than just here on this planet. Like so many of us, you know, we're, we're taught that, you know, you don't, don't leave the planet. That's for NASA, you know, deal with all this stuff here. And yet there's so many of us that have a stirring within us that know that there's more. And so often it's, you know, experienced in childhood, especially, you know, where we understand the vastness. And it's such a pleasure to be here with you because now we get to explore it and we're going to explore it through a lot of different ways. Like people have all these different kinds of experiences throughout their lifetime and they're, they're contained in a box. You know, I had this experience and it was this, but now we're going to kind of take the edges of those boxes off and we're going to expand it out into the, the potentials and possibilities of what those experiences you have had, Sharon and I have had that maybe there's more, maybe there's more to it. And so this show here is going to be fun. Sharon and I are going to be sharing about us and like experiences we've had. And also we're going to have some guests on and get some other perspectives and maybe even some of you, you never know. But I'll tell you a little bit about me. I am Michelle Ambergy. I am the Awakener. I'm also known as the Intergalactic Angel Messenger. And I am also a psychic medium. Um, I am an advanced energy healer. I've got 27 different energy healing modalities, hypnotherapist, past life regression. I am a light language channel, a spiritual teacher. Um, and I, I've known since childhood that I was here to be here at this, what I used to call the end times. Now I know they're the beginning times. And <clears throat> I've always had a, a really strong connection to the outer space thing <laughs> for so long. And, and even as a child, you know, I had a, what I used to call an ab abduction experience and Sharon brought a new word in. I was like, that's what it was, a contactee experience at four years old. And I've held that in me and I've had that within me. And I'm so blessed that I'm now beginning to understand that this was something that included a, a greater vision, a greater view, a greater potential of who I am, but in acknowledging that it's for all of humanity, it's for all of you and, and even beyond just here on this planet. And so I'm so excited to have been able to find Sharon, who we can talk about this stuff. It's so funny. When we were getting ready for this, I'm like, have you been abducted? And she's like, oh, a contactee. And then I'm like, isn't that cool that we can ask that question now? You know, if you go down to your local grocery store and run into something, go, have you been abducted? You're <laughs> going to go to jail. They're going to put you in the loopy house. Right? Or at least run away from you very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so fun that we get to do that and, and be here and be here with all of you. Mm -hmm. And so we just invite you to come in. We are, we are just getting started on this. We have in our hearts, where, where this is going to go. And we're really going to let the divine flow through us. Another connection, and I have to bring this up, Sharon, that is so important is that Sharon and I both have very deep, deep connections to Jesus, to the Jesus story, to Yeshua, to Sananda, the higher consciousness of the Christ and the Christ consciousness, and blessed and beloved Mary Magdalene, who was his, I'm just going to use wife, you know, his companion, his consort, his his favorite disciple, as has been said in some of the books that we don't, we don't always get to see. Um, and we have a deep connection to that. And I feel it's because it's all part of the Christ consciousness. You know, there's a lot of us that were, you know, raised in the Christian beliefs that, that Jesus is going to come save us. I'll be back. Well, Sharon and I both kind of understand and we'll, we're, we'll expand on this. We'll go further on this in, in, in future shows. But that Christ is returning through each of us, through you, through me, through Sharon, through all of us. And when we allow ourselves to kind of shift that consciousness within us, to shift it from being saved to being saving ourselves, that takes the power and puts it back with us because we have all the power that Christ walked on this planet. 
Because he said, these things I do, you shall do. And even more, it's, it. oh, I'm getting chills. It's in us. We all have it. You have it within you. And let's open that up. Let's unpack that. Let's allow that to rise within so that we can get this show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> And allow exactly. So I'm so honored to be here, Sharon. I cannot wait to see where we go with this. Um, because we just we have we just have so much to share. We do. We have yeah. so much to share, and we know so many awesome, amazing people that we want to bring on and share too. So yeah. thank you for being here with me, Sharon. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. And speaking of Yeshua and Mary Magdalene, and that that was a very strong, strong connection that uh, Michelle and I have is not was is like she like she just said. And so, uh, you know, we 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 share lots and lots of connections. But that one, I think, is is probably the strongest. Definitely. Yeah. And um, if I may, we'll start off with the, an experience I had yesterday with Yeshua. Yay. I was in um, deep trance and I was uh, asking for any experiences and I see my mind's eye opens up and I see a green field. Ooh, I'm starting to get emotional talking about it. I see a green field, a beautiful green, large green field. And I, um, in a minute or after I get centered, I see someone uh, coming toward me, walking toward me. And he's walking really fast. <clears throat> and I see that he's wearing white. He's very bright. He's wearing white, not like bright light around him, but just a bright beam. And he's wearing a white uh, type of um, gown robe thing. And, um, and also he has a, uh, with the head covering, just kind of loosely wrapped around and just comes down like that. Um, and I noticed him I, right away. I noticed him <clears throat> that he is Yeshua, Yeshua, which is what I call him. <laughs> and I'm 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 actually awestruck. I did uh, I did meet him in a near death experience, or he came to meet me in two near death experiences. And we'll talk about that throughout our <laughs> journeys here. We'll share our experiences too. So I uh, recognize him right away and I'm, st I'm just standing there. It's almost like my feet are cemented to the ground because I can't move because I haven't seen him this clear since then. Yeah, probably. Well, I was during my quickening, I was seeing him pretty quickly, uh, pretty clearly around 20 years ago, but it was, he was just so freaking clear. Yeah. And then I, I realize, and I run to him, and it, it sounds like the movies, you know, where you're running, it's almost like in slow motion, you're running toward each other, you know, your love, you're running, or whoever you, you haven't seen in so long with your arms out, and running toward each other, it's like that, reminds me of those little kids, that video, those little kids that, um, that run to each other and hug, haven't seen each other in a long time, <clears throat> and so he embraces me, and I can't let go of him, we go to sit down, and there's no words there's no exchange of words just just his presence is all I need that's all I needed was his arms around me <clears throat> because we're going through a lot on this planet there's so much that who that um we take on people that are trying to help you know that are of service that we take on and we forget uh, maybe to um take care of ourselves sometimes and so he, what I got from him was that he was lifting burdens, lifting energies that are um, off my shoulders and off my heart. Just, he came to, came to me to help, help do that with me. And it was so cleansing and so healing. I didn't want to let go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so I don't know how long I was there with him, uh, but I realized, okay, well, I guess I have to get back to my life. <laughs> but he said, you know, not said, but I, I got that into it that, you know, I'm always here. Yeah. It just felt so special. Yeah. So for, it was so special and um, I'll never forget it. Super clear. 
So beautiful. You know, I had an, an experience very similar to that maybe a couple of months ago, maybe not even quite that long ago, where I was in meditation and all of a sudden he just appeared with his hands out. Mm -hmm. right? And with that beautiful white robe, he did have the, the cloth he had over his head did have red in it, that beautiful deep burgundy. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, come here, right here. And just lay your head on my shoulder and just let go for a bit, you know? And it was that same thing. It's like I laid my head and I could feel the cloth and I just didn't want to let go. Yeah. And just held in, there was communication that was there. And I, I received very similar what you're talking about, how like, it's all okay. Yeah. Just be here. Let me hold you. Be here where, where it's true. Um, and just, it's, it's all okay. It's all okay. And it's so beautiful because it is. And he, you know, when he spoke about coming back, you know, he is coming back. But he also said that, like what we were talking about a little bit before about, you know, these things he does, we will do and even more. Mm -hmm. And it's part of that bringing the Christ through because Jesus brought the energy of the Christ through. He was not the Christ, although he was because he embodied it, right? That's where our little human brains get kind of caught up in it. But he held the energy of the Christ. And that's what he's talking about when he says, these things I do, ye too shall do, is that we will embody the Christ, which is a consciousness that is beyond human, the human self. Yeah. And that is what so many of us are doing now. Yes. Is we're beginning to understand the truth of his words. We're beginning to understand that even though his words were, you know, in translations, especially those of us that speak the English, you know, that that Bible has gone from like Aramaic to to yeah. to Hebrew, to Greek, to Latin, to English. Mm -hmm. And all those translations have changed, you know, the the true meaning. But the true meaning still can be found within us because we each embody that Christ presence. That's what he did is he embodied that for us, for us to be able to embody it until we got to this time that we're here so that he can return through each of us. Yes. And Mary Magdalene plays a part in that as well. Because yes. she also is a Christed being. Mm -hmm. totally. And yeah. it was really cool. Um, Sharon and I were talking about how we felt like we were kind of the reincarnation of Mary Magdalene and that we recognize that there are many who feel that same way, that we're bringing that divine feminine and that powerful divine feminine, that powerful Christed divine feminine, because the Christ is not a male or a female, it is a consciousness and bringing that through. And that was another huge connection that we had, holding that divine feminine as as a Christed being and it just feels so whole mm -hmm. and it's that balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine in in one way of looking at it right there's a lot of different ways we can look at it but yeah. it's just so beautiful thank you for sharing that Sharon I think people really need to start hearing this mm -hmm. that Christ is within us and even the teachings you know Christ said God's within me mm -hmm you yeah. know, and yeah, we, totally. we don't connect up with the true meaning of that so often. And I think people are really starting to wake up. And I think that's part of the awakening that we're talking about. Right. Right. And it, it's not a religious thing. It's yeah. at all. Uh, I was, I was raised Catholic and like Michelle said, but, um, but I was not, not a good Catholic. It just didn't <laughs> resonate. Didn't, my family wasn't my immediate family didn't resonate the teachings and nothing against the catholic religion of no. the people who there's lots of good things about it absolutely um, and not so good things but <laughs> yeah so it's it, i always knew that there was something missing it didn't make sense to me but i knew that knew that at, during my life that i felt his presence but didn't put a name on it didn't put that symbol on him that it was him if that makes any sense yeah, yeah. totally yeah so um so you know it's all about as he teaches love you know, right in your heart that type of thing and that's what the christ consciousness is all about yeah. is is loving you know the golden rule and loving your fellow 
fellow human being and loving everything about the universe. But I'm really excited to uh, talk with Michelle on, on our upcoming shows about um, all the galactics that are out there that we're going to know about in the next few years, if not sooner, because we are moving into that space of disclosure, not from, I don't feel the governments are going to tell us, they're, they're not going to tell us what, you know, the truth from us, yeah. from within, because we are being contacted and we are the yes. awakeners as Michelle uh, so aptly um, calls herself we are the awakeners and my chinese uh, my chinese astrology uh, astrological sign is the rooster <laughs> so you know <laughs> oh, oh, wake up <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so i'm i'm really excited to be uh communicating about that you know bringing people on that that have so much knowledge about that and experiences in our own experiences as well yeah it's yeah. going to be so fun and so we're looking at just let everybody know and and share and make sure i have this right we're looking at starting to be getting our shows out like what would we say thursday afternoons and oop did we miss some sound? Oh, you muted. I did. Okay. Yeah, I think that was what we said. Let me look at my calendar. Yeah, Thursdays. Okay. And some will be just live winging it. Some of it will 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 pretty it up. We'll see what happens. I like that. Pretty it up. Pretty it up. Sometimes you need to do that. Or um, yeah, I, sometimes when, when we're interviewing people, and um, I'm sorry to interrupt you, my sister, okay. is that, that people are maybe a little bit more comfortable with pre-recorded, mm -hmm. right? And so so we might do that too, but I doubt if we'll have anything that we need to edit on it because, you know, it's Unless YouTube. Unless Michelle and, starts dropping F-bombs, which I yeah. never do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's we'll funny, just, Archangel Michael told me one time as part of the reason he loves working through me is that when he wants to swear, I'll, I'll do it for him. Oh, that's so funny because, because I got I, the I, same, same thing from, yeah. uh, he's like, from, I, I, yeah. I might want to be dropping an F-bomb here, girl. And I know you'll do it for me. <laughs> yeah. Because Yeshua, Yeshua, I got corrected. Yeshua, Yeshua is the one that, um, actually taught me that there there's there shouldn't be anything that's against the grain you know in in the human experience with well with words but you know what i mean yeah. where where we have judgment on it or anything like that does and and you know the f, f word <laughs> is it has a lot of energy behind it and sometimes you just need to use it yeah. i don't i don't see anything wrong with it yeah, yeah. and it is and it, it makes a point it draws attention to that particular point yeah. And it works. It's just the judgment that we have on that word that keeps us from, you know, being in that energy as it's intended. Right. So as George Collins said, the seven, seven words are not allowed on <laughs> yeah. seven deadly words or something. <laughs> deadly words. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh we're rambling. Gosh. That's good. But you know what? I have a feeling this show might be a little rambly. <laughs> because everything okay with that. that comes into it is a part of what we're talking about there's no yeah. accidents there's no coinky dinks it's yeah. all synchronicity and so it may seem rambling to those of you who don't know <laughs> Ooh. but we assure you there's a point <laughs> to it all somewhere down the line <laughs> somewhere <laughs> it might make sense next year but uh, <laughs> well that's we not that far away anything <laughs> right <laughs> that's right we'll have to put that disclaimer no guarantees <laughs> no guarantees i'll put that in our about you know we can take you to the galaxy but we can't make you play in it mm -hmm. so. <laughs> good point yes and i say that in all my classes i'm sure you do too you know it's all up to you what you get out of this course in this class is up to you yeah what you put in it you get out of it yeah and anything that's life life that's life. And now we want to open those possibilities up even further. Let's see what we can do with it. Yeah. 
Let's see and, what we can do with it. Right. And we're included in that too. You know, yep. sometimes oh, yeah. it takes a little while to get through some, some blocks and we're not immune to that. That's why, you know, and we were talking a little bit, here we go again, but we were talking a little bit about um, how this healing work yeah. and how, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Yeah. It's not easy. Mm-mm. It is not easy. It's not easy to break through those barriers and break through those traumas and, and fears and things like that so that they can be healed and cleared. That's so it's true. Not easy and, work. and it doesn't happen in one session either. Mm-hmm. I mean, it can take years to un- unravel something, but mm-hmm. every step you take, you feel better. You become more whole. It, you become more clear. You become healthier. You become happier. Yeah. And so the journey may or may not be a little bit longer than you expect, but every single step is healing and, and to recognize that it's so important. And, and we do it, you know, like Sharon and I were talking about, I'm constantly in healing because yeah. as soon as you get one layer up, it's like, holy crap, what's that now? <laughs> I yeah. thought I dealt with you before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. You think something's going and it rears its ugly head and there's still a little bit left yeah. of it, whatever. And I think that's why we need things like, um, you know, going within with the meditations, like with Yeshua coming and comforting me and lifting some things that I hadn't released at that time or hadn't been um, working on to release because release is so important. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we need that. We need the, that caretaking. Definitely. Yeah. And that, that loving, loving presence. I mean, there's nothing like that presence no. and we have to realize, you know, we're so many of us, I mean, I don't know that I can say everyone, but so many of us we're clearing, not just this lifetime, but we're clearing lifetimes and lifetimes and ancestral programming too. You know, yeah. it's huge. And as we go back in, through our lifetimes, as we go back through that incarnational line, you know, we start getting prior to when this planet was inhabited, you know, we're going back to our intergalactic roots and our intergalactic ancestry and all that kind of stuff. And that's what puts us back into that broad, 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 broad beingness of who we truly are. Definitely. And, and I know Sharon, we were talking earlier about how things are opening up again now for us to be able to contact and be a part of this greater galactic neighborhood that we kind of been kicked out of. We kind of been the hood in the neighborhood for a while. <laughs> We've been gang stuff. You don't got uh-huh. the sign. You don't get the wine, man. But, <laughs> you know, but we're opening up and we're moving beyond that now. And so I, I do so look forward to seeing how this unfolds and, and to be able to see our intergalactic oh, family that just makes me want to cry. And, and I always tease Sharon because I tell her, you know, we know that Jesus is coming back through all of us. The Christ is coming back through all of us. But I always am like, Jesus, please please come back at some point in a spaceship. Yes. Just do it. <laughs> do it. It'd be awesome. <laughs> I agree. 20 years ago, I saw visions of that. Yeah. So, hey, one day, who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Come on, do it. Come on down. <laughs> Oh, we thank all of you so much for watching. Sharon and I are so excited to be doing this. We, it's going to be fun. You know, there's, there's going to be some tears. There's going to be some awakening. There's going to be some new information, some experiences, some beautiful people. And um, you know what? It's all going to be good. And we're okay. grateful to be here. And I'm grateful to be here with you, Sharon. I just love you dearly. Oh, you are my, I love you too. My sister, Mary, <laughs> sister Mary Magdalene <laughs> will write a song. <laughs> yes, I ditto to you. I love you too so much. And uh, also to the audience, thank you. Thank you for being here. And remember that you are here for a very important, important reason yes. or else you wouldn't be here. And 
this is why we're here what's going on in the world now in this this great awakening i guess you could say is um huge huge for our planet huge for humanity so pat yourself on the back your guides angels your loved ones your star family could not be prouder of you and they are right there with you every minute of the day and every minute of the night remember that yeah we're all in this together so let's do it let's have some fun while we're doing it too yes Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>